So maybe you wanted to have a way to sort your data so that you can be able to find your information faster, like the way you can find information on Google. So in this tutorial, you're going to have like a magical search box whereby if you search any name, you can be able to get. So like if I want to find Janet, I can be able to find everything, first name, last name, country, age, and every other information I wanted. Similarly, if I want to search by the second name, I can get the Murphy. And the importance of this is that if you have like lots of information, you can be able to search even the one that is at the very end. Now the benefit of this is that I can be able to find lots of information. If I wanted to find maybe some a name like Steven, I can be able to pull it out from there. And even the last name, say for example, I have this Jaris, I can get it here and I can see from US. So the very first thing you have to do is just to make sure that all your information is inserted into a table. And that is simple. You click into the cell and then you click Control T and that will insert it into a table. Otherwise, then the alternative is just to go to the insert and click insert table if your information is not in a table format. The next thing is just to come here and click and copy these headers and then let's paste it somewhere here in I. It doesn't matter where you paste it, it just depends on the format that you're using. And note that you can also put it in another sheet. I'm just doing it here so that we can be able to see it clearly. The next thing is just to insert a shape. This is optional, not compulsory. Then after that, I've chosen the rectangle which has like rounded corners. Then I'll choose no fill. Then after that, the most important thing is just to go to the developer. And in the developer, if you don't have developer here, you can right click and click customize read the ribbon. And after this, in the customize ribbon here on the left side, make sure that the developer is clicked. And after that, you click OK so that the developer will now start to appear. The next thing is just to go to the insert. Then we're going to check the text box active X control. And that after that, we're going to draw right inside there. So we can enlarge the rectangle and so that it gives space for this. The next thing, right click on the text box and go to properties. And in this box, which will appear, go to linked cell and link it to as any cell that you might like. For this instance, I'm going to link it to G3. I'm going to write G3. Then after that, I'll close this dialog. We have a couple of some other things if you want to explore. This is like special effect. You can just click this and choose the one with the special effect flat and then after that you click OK. And the one about that is that if you just click, it will make an illusion as if the text box is not there. Let me just turn it back on and I will just choose maybe like two, the one that was there before so that you can be able to see what you are typing. If you have internet with you and you'd like to add a search icon, you can come here to insert, then illustrations, then icons, and then you can search the search icon and that will appear. Then after that, you can bring it here and resize it. But for this, I'm going to make it so simple. It's important before we start getting into the equations to get to know the name of our table and we can also rename it. So we can click the table, go to table designs. Then on this side, we can see the name of our table. We can rename it to, let's call it fit. So anytime we'll be referencing it as fit. Next, we're going to use the filter functions, which we're going to say cause filter. Then we're going to put our table, which is fit. Then we're going to search in the, in our table, we'll be searching the first name because we want, if we type something, it will be filtering to that we've typed. So after that, we wanted to make sure that what we type in the search box is equivalent to G3. Then if it's not equal to G3, 
wanted to return no match then we're going to close that and then after that we're going to hit enter we have no match but if we exit from developer mode and we start typing like janet which is our first name we're going to see that we have janet now the problem with this is that if you just remove t it will say no match and still we have janet it's until the name is full that you're going to see it that's why we're going to tweak some of the functions in this in the include where we're going to remove this part and instead we're going to use another one which is s number and then in the s number we're going to search and in the search we have parameters such as find text and the text we're going to look for is g3 which we already linked and then we are going to look it in our table which is fit and in our table fit we are going to look for first name which is first then we're going to close that and remember these are square brackets then i'm going to close the search then i'm going to then close the s number then after that i can now hit enter now as you can see now we have all the names displayed and if i search janet i will be able to find janet and even if i remove t i'll still retain janet and if i have jan i have janet and janice so this is really good but now the problem with this is if i search the last name which is like murphy i'll see no match even without going far and that is where we need to add something to modify our equation and since you've mastered this the next will just be easy because we're going to copy that then after we copy we're going to add then copy again then we're going to copy and then copy at last because we have four columns and then in the first in the second column instead of first i'm going to write last then in the that column i'm going to write country which is just here in the last one i'm going to put edge then after that i can hit enter now the good thing about this is that i can be able to search this first name i can be able to search the second name I can be able to search the country i can be able to search with age you can see everyone who has a certain age if you want to take this further you can always click the table you can click control all then go back to home tab then conditional formatting and then you can come here to new rule and click format only cells that contain then in here choose the cells with no blanks and format it to have the color of your liking then you can choose outline then you click control then click okay now if you search any name the table will adjust according to the field so say for example i have j it will adjust with the data that I'm having. If I have just one, it will adjust to that column. So that's the good thing about this magical search button. And you don't have to limit here. If you just control all, you can copy this and take it anywhere else. And still we'll be having the same functionalities that we had before. The only problem is that it will be on a different place so i just wanted to show you that it doesn't have to remain here so you can always detach it from this so basically that's how you can create a magical search box which can search the entire database that you have i hope that you've learned something and i hope to see you in the next video
Until next time, bye bye.